Meantime, in the South Bay, firefighters were busy responding to small brush fires in San Jose. Fire officials worried about the drought stressed vegetation out there. Ground Force Gail Ong, she is live for us in San Jose with the very latest. Gail. Yeah, Vicki, at least three small brush fires they responded to today. One of them was close to last night's fire that actually destroyed two cars and sent one person to the hospital. San Jose firefighters quickly doused the flames of this brush fire that ignited on the Highway 101 off-ramp near McKee Road. The fire broke out around 6 p.m. Smoke can be seen from the area of Thursday evening's brush fire that came dangerously close to homes. A resident says he saw the fire start from the road and make its way down the hill. No homes were destroyed, but the fire charred two cars and sent one person to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. With the bone-dry conditions and an early start to fire season, firefighters have been preparing ahead of time. Refreshing all of our wildland firefighting training. We have also um, been, um, you know, doing a lot of outreach to the community to help encourage them to be aware of wildfires, the risks that they pose, and how they can be prepared um, to respond in case a fire breaks out. Firefighters were busy Friday just before 4 p.m. Crews responded to a vegetation fire in the area of South 7th Street and Virginia Street. No reported injuries or structures were damage. Earlier in the day around 1 p.m., crews contained a vegetation fire near Coyote Creek. Tree cutters removed the burnt tree. The cause of the fires are under investigation. San Jose Fire Public Information Manager Eric Array says most fires can be prevented. A fire can spark in many in many ways. It can be something as simple as, you know, um, chains that are being drug under underneath someone's car that may uh, cause a spark that ignites a, a fire on the side of the freeway. Could be a, a cigarette that's tossed out the window. They sound like common sense, but those scenarios do happen. Now, uh, as we face these drought conditions for much of the Bay Area, San Jose officials are focusing on illegal fireworks and are encouraging the public to report them so they can hold those accountable. Live in San Jose, Gail Ong, Cron 4 News.